Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna do a replacement on the radiator for the 2006 Nissan Pathfinder. So let me show you where it's leaking. As you see right now, you see the bubble come through from there? Yeah, wherever they crimp that part there, the crimp part here, all along here, yeah, they're leaking through there. So today we're gonna remove that and install back the new one. All right, now to get started. So first, we need to remove the air filter here. So. Next thing we need to do, remove the, the fan shroud. So they have two bowls up here. So you need to remove. Also 10 millimeter. The new one, you gotta be careful with it. It's kind of small. So, I think they have a clip down there that we gotta remove. Down here, we gotta remove the, the guard down here. So, we could be able to see the, the radiator up there. So, after you remove uh, the guard. So as you can see right here, see the Phillips screw right here to drain all the coolant. Probably most of them water. Uh, testing it with water, but it seems like it's dirty. While that thing drain, we can remove all that. We can push this clip down. That the one that they set for the the fan shroud. One here and one on that side. I think it's already out. And the uh, holes right here. And also these holes right here. So after we remove all that, should be, should be be able to pull it out. Remove the holes. After we uh, unhook everything down there, so now I, I'll try to remove this out, the shroud, and also the condenser fan, I believe. Work 
got it out. This apart from the bottom part, you actually have to push this out and push it out. So that's how they lock it in there for the bottom part. If you don't remove this, you won't be able to pick this up. So this it will be locked up with the fan. So now what we're gonna do next? Flat head screwdriver right here, pop this out a little bit. Okay. And the reason we're doing that. access right here to that bowl that hold the radiator same thing this side and this also 10 millimeter as well that thing start to get loose and so also the condenser here to connect it to that so you got to remove this 10 millimeter here and 10 millimeter here so that's what I'm gonna use So there we have it. And so before you reinstall the new one, you gotta take this uh, bracket off. The bracket here is only one bolt in below down here. It's a 12 millimeter. So if you remove that bowl, you pull it out. So this this bracket here to hold that uh, radiator so the new radiator just came like this so don't forget to remove that both sides this side the same way bowl down here See? that thing right here to hold that the bracket here hold the radiator so that's it. If you like the video, please uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.